I've had a lot of people asking me for questions about half-lives. So this is one of the few that have come up when you've got to work out something to do with a half-life in the radioactivity topic. So this question tells us um, there's a sample left for 414 days. Um, it had a mass by the end of that point of 1.45 times 10 to the minus 4 grams. The half-life, it tells us, is 138 days. What is the initial sample? So we need to know what half-life is. Half-life um, in this question um, is the time for um, the number of nuclei or the uh, sample um, activity to half. So if it goes down by half then we are going to think, look, try and trace back and figure out how old was it initially. So if you know how long it takes to halve we can trace backwards and work out how old was it initially. So at this point um, we've got it as 1.24. If we go back in time um, and we follow this sort of curve here uh, we can figure out how old it is. So if we look carefully we've got 138 days, one half life um, and then 414 in total. If I divide those two numbers together I can find out that in that period of time we've got three half lives. So it divides exactly into three. So if it's got three half lives uh, and it's here now then every time we go backwards by one half life we have to double it. So double it once, double it twice, double it again. So the, uh, the final sample mass was this value here. So we times by two and then you can either do to the power of three or times by two, times by two, times by two. Um, and that in this case would equal a value if you put in your calculator 0 0.00116 grams, uh, which is our final answer for this question.